Hey, Dwight Clow here, Inner Wealth. Um, we are working our way through the Ten Commandments, and we are in Exodus chapter 20. And I'm uh, going to read to you from the Inter New International, uh, verse 13. You shall not murder. Um, the other versions say, thou shalt not kill. And um, the reason that we're going through the Ten Commandments is we're just trying to identify what can we learn about God from the Ten Commandments. Uh, in some ways, Ten Commandments are like his calling card, like his resume, like uh, uh, a brief bio, a description of who God is and what's important to him. And, um, of course, here, uh, God makes very clear that every human life has value. That... Uh, uh, every human life belongs to God, and for uh, one person to take a life from another is not, uh, uh, is not what God desires. Um, God certainly is uh, against murder. Um, in 1 John it says that uh, we know that no murderer has eternal life in him. And, you know, what does that mean? Does that mean that uh, if somebody has committed the crime of murder that they can never go to heaven? No, that's not what it means. It means that they can be forgiven, their lives can be restored and turned around. But what it does mean is that God is not going to let murderers into heaven. In other words, people who want to take the lives of other people. And, um, you know... Uh, this shows up not just in terms of just the crime of going out and killing somebody, but uh, many times we diminish or devalue uh, the value of other people in our minds. And uh, that is kind of a form of murder, of psychic murder, maybe we could call it. Uh, uh, of, of diminishing the value of another human being. And God does not want us to do that. And the reason why is God values you. You know, your life is important to him. And my life is important. And he wants us to place the same value on one another's lives that he places on them. So, anyway, I hope these thoughts are encouraging and helpful. I... Um, for those of you who are part of Inner Wealth, we are going to be talking this coming Saturday about how to overcome inner barriers. You know, you set the resolution to lose weight or write a book or whatever, you know, and you just can't make any progress. So why is that? Well, talk about uh, why that is and what you can do to remove those inner barriers, so those gates swing open and you can move forward in life. So anyway, thanks so much. I will see you next time. Have a super day.